It's time now for the Peter Chill 7 o'clock news on this Tuesday evening, May 26, 2015. Good evening, everybody. I'm Peter Wiggins now. Your 7 o'clock news and on this Tuesday evening here in Top Story at 7 is. A federal appeals court refused Tuesday to allow the implementation for now of President Obama's executive action that could shield from deportation as many as 5 million illegal immigrants. The death toll from Texas flooding continues to climb on Tuesday as many areas remain inaccessible and a 40 days warn of more trouble to come. The Justice Department and the City of Cleveland announced an agreement Tuesday that would place the troubled local police department under the direction of an independent monitor to ensure reforms fall in a string of deadly encounters involving. In Beijing, China intends to project naval power in the open ocean in the coming years and not just defend the country's coastal waters according to a strategy paper released on Tuesday. Houston Rocket Center Dwight Howard gets to spend Monday night with some very happy Rockets fans in Houston's Toyota Center as the Rockets are just be avoid being swept by the Golden State Wars in the Western Conference Finals and he was among those stranded inside the sports arena wall. A lot of rain fell on the city of Houston. In Baghdad, a Shiite military group said Tuesday that it was arrested hundreds of Islamic State militants in a battle and by permanence as Iraq announced a major military operation to regain control of the region. Stifling need has killed more than 1,000 people in India in less than one week. In Phoenix, three-term Arizona Democratic Congresswoman Ann Kirkpatrick said on Tuesday that she will seek to ask powerful Republican John McCain. Senator Bernie Sanders, the independent from Vermont, running for the Democratic presidential nomination, officially launched his campaign on Tuesday with a public message for the billionaire class. Tax return information of about 100,000 U.S. taxpayers was illegally accessed. In New York, Washington, Charter Communications Incorporated is seeking to remake the U.S. cable television industry by acquiring a larger rival Time Warner Cable Incorporated for $56 million will try to skirt the regulatory obstacles that helped sink Comcast Corporation's early bid. U.S. stocks fell on Tuesday, pushing the S&P 500 to its biggest decline in three weeks, weighed down by concerns about Greece and some upbeat data that fueled expectations. As the U.S. stock market Close 18,041.54, down 190.48, SP 521.420, down 21.86, NASDAQ 532.85, down 56.61. Mario and Mark, who's unflinching yet compassionate depictions of homeless teenagers in Seattle and mental patients in a state institution or made one of her. Premier documentary photographers of her generation died at the age of 75. Two of B.B. King's daughters and claimed that their father was poisoned by two A to work closely with him. In Washington, a man died of loss of fever at a hospital in New Jersey on Monday after returning from Liberia this month, fell for 40 years and asked. Modern drinking might harm your heart if you're a senior citizen. A new study suggests and women appear to be at greater risk for alcohol-related damage than men, the researchers have found. There is mounting evidence to suggest that mental health affects not only our minds and moods, but also our overall health and well-being. And now look at the sports reporter at 7.04 p.m. Here, the Boston Red Sox will square off against the Minnesota Twins game time 8.10 p.m. In Minneapolis, which is 7.10 p.m. their time. The New England Patriots announced on Tuesday that William McGinnis has been selected by the fans at the 24th and 20th to the team's Hall of Fame. Novak Djokovic, Rafael Nadal, and Serena Williams have made the short work of their respective opponents in round one of the French Open. And Philadelphia Phillies general manager Ruben Amaro says that fans tour don't understand the team's methodological approach to turn the franchise around. Don't understand the game. Peter Chell News Times and 704, and it's time now for a Trevor Report here on this. Tuesday evening here. And South Coast Expressway on the southbound side, slow from Quincy all the way after the Brain Tree split. Mass Pike on both ends, slow from Logan Railroad all the way after the Mass. Pike slow from 
Look there for all the way up to the Southeast Expressway, Mass Park Salt Farm. On the westbound side, from the Southeast Expressway, all the way out to Boston University, and then hit back again to the Newton Corner here. Route 3 on the northbound side, Salt from Bill all the way out to Route 40 in Jonesford here. Route 45 on the southbound side, Salt from Route 20 in Andover, all the way out to Route 3 in Lowell. 128 on the northbound side, it's Salt from 3 in Burlington, all the way out to Red in here. But otherwise, a smooth sailing commute here on this. Tuesday evening here, and looking at the MBTA alert, see you on this. Tuesday evening here, Silver and SL4, experience with minor delays due to traffic, and SL5, Silver and experience with minor delays due to disabled bus, and on the Camille Rail, Greenbush Line, train 0875.45 p.m. from South Station, delayed 30 to 35 minutes today due to signal problems there, and Prominent Solar Line, train 8802.655 p.m. from Wicker Junction will be replaced by a bus between Wickford Junction and Providence. Providence. Stone Line train 8804, 7.5 p.m. from Wickford Junction will be placed by a bus between Wickford Junction and Providence. Peter Channel News Time, 7.06 p.m. on this late Tuesday. Evening here on its 10 hour for a weather report here. Overnight, most gas cars will about 62 degrees, southward about 6 miles an hour. For Wednesday, areas of fog between 7 a.m. and 8 a.m. was. Port Sands guys about 74 degrees, southward about 9 to 15 miles an hour. What's that? Slight tension showers and thunderstorms after 2 a.m. Areas of fog after 11 p.m. Oh, wow, it's both guys guys below 1, 61 degrees, southwest, with about 8 to 30 miles, with chance of precipitation to 20 percent. Thursday, slight tension showers and thunderstorms, most of guys guys have about 8 degrees, southward about 9 to 11 miles, with chance of precipitation to 20 percent. Thursday, most guys guys below 61 degrees, southwest, with about 6 miles an hour. Become a land of variable in the evening near from Friday. Both Sands and Podcast guys about 78 below 59 degrees. Saturday, both Sands guys about 82 degrees. Sorry, a chance of showers and thunderstorms areas of fog after 5 a.m. Oh, what? Most guys got below about 59 degrees. Chance of precipitation to 30 percent. Sunday, chance of showers and thunderstorms areas of fog before 7 a.m. Oh, what? Mostly says most guys got about 72 degrees. Chance of precipitation to 50 percent. Sunday, a chance of showers. Most guys got lower 49 degrees. Chance of precipitation to 40 percent. Monday, chance of showers with most guys got about 66 to about 49 degrees. Chance of precipitation to 30 percent. And for Tuesday, most guys got about 69 degrees. Not temperature standing at. Clear skies, and the temperature is 79 degrees, and that is going to be it for the Peter Channel. 7 o'clock news on its May 26, 2015, on Tuesday evening, period. you have a good evening while still. For a late night report, right after the Red Sox, Twins, and Sports Roundup, have a good evening.